Uh, if you caught the stream yesterday, uh, for some reason chose to watch it as a video of the day, which I don't know who's doing that, but um, I was trying to return to streaming. Um, oh, God. Quarantine haircut is not doing me any favors with these headphones. Uh, so I'll, this is my triumphant return to streaming, although I am not sure that I am actually back. Uh, but I feel compelled to try to pass on some of my hard-earned knowledge. I really feel like there's a spot for it. So here I am streaming again. Last night, a bit of a train wreck. Uh, I had encoding issues. I misunderstood what the errors were saying and what the fix was. So I was making them consistently worse, and then I just gave up, basically. So tonight, we're starting fresh. Still seem to be peaking in the red. Um, I guess hopefully better. We're going to paint some conquest. This doodly do. Uh, so he is primed and flatted and ready to go. I really wish I had more light coming from this side. It's partly it's because the the camera is over to the side of where I paint, right? So the the light is coming from this direction. But the camera's over here. So, it is what it is. So, Conquest is a... Uh, there's two two versions of Conquest. There is the Conquest, the last argument of kings, which is a mass battle, uh, units and trays game. And then there's um, Conquest First Blood, which is the skirmish. And the nice thing about First Blood is it uses the same miniatures as um, Last Argument of Kings, except single based uh, since it's this tray system the you just pop the guys out of the base it's not a big deal to swap them which is nice because you can slowly build up a force in a larger game but not by using it in pitifully small matches of the larger game you can have a rule set that's designed for the model count so that's nice it somewhat reminds me of a song of ice and fire and here's a, a tray of a song of ice and fire. I, I can't tell if that is as dark as it looks. I have a feeling that this is a little bit dark. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Let's crank the gain up a little bit. All right. Well, that's a little bit better. Okay. So here we go. Song of Ice and Fire miniatures. Now they're on this big fat tray. Big bases, way bigger than the models need. Uh, and it's 12 models to a tray. Same size tray for every unit. So every unit is 12 models. It's kind of like, eh. Uh, and they have rounded edges on the bases, which if you're putting uh, bases in stand, not so good. This is the base that the Shaman comes with. And you can actually see, I can do this without making a mess. Ooh. The base for Last Argument of Kings is actually smaller. But the model, much, much larger. So they, they're denser on their stands for the same models. Uh, and it's multi stands per unit. So you get a unit, usually it has three stands to start with for an infantry unit, and then you can choose, do I want to buy a fourth stand, a fifth stand? Um, am I going to attach a commander? Am I going to add a, a banner? Am I going to put my character for my army in this unit? So it's a little bit more customizable than a Song of Ice and Fire, which is nice, I like that. A Song of Ice and Fire was a fine game. The basing, I always found a little bit hinky. So I think that's enough start uh, starting. That's enough talking. Let's start. Um, I see that my bot hasn't even shown up, so we're at zero viewers. That's nice. Oh, there my bot has finally showed up. A little bit delayed. Uh, and enjoy that drinking noise. I should have muted. Sorry. 
So we're going to mix up and paint the flesh. Uh, so this miniature is flatted, which means a flat coat has been applied to all the parts. Um, it is not a really careful coat. I don't worry too much about coverage or even if the color is going to be correct to how he'll be painted. The idea is just to do a color separation pass. So I use Chimera colors if you're new here, which since no one watched the old stream and no one watches this stream, everybody is and isn't at the same time. But I use these Chimera colors and I really like them. But they're a little bit of a pain to get because they're only done in small batches because it's a small shop that does them. So you have to wait for a pre-order to become available and then get in the pre-order and then wait for them to arrive. And that can take a long time because they come from Italy and the Canadian Postal Service is pretty slow. So... We're going to use the big boy for this. I apologize for the noise. Maybe I should mute for that part. I'll mute. There we go. So, um, yeah, they take a long time to arrive. Uh, I'm on my second set of them. So far, I've only gone through my white and my black. But some of my colors, my blue, my green, mostly my red oxide, which is one of my favorite colors in the set, getting a little bit low, making me a little bit nervous. So I bought a second set, and I've gone through. I've replaced the blue, black and the white. Rain's not flowing very well today um, so I should be good although it's such a pain to get them but I recently found out my local store is stocking these things which means I'll be able to order from them individual pots so I can replace the colors that I've already gone through I can replace my black and my white so I'll have a full set of all the colors and I can replace my red oxide and my yellow oxide which are getting low just to have that that buffer um, and then I'll feel good, and I'll just maintain a full pot of every color, like the colors I'm using, and then another full pot of every color waiting in the wings, and that way I have lots of time to switch paints if it ever goes away. Oh, it's a good thing I muted for that swig of water. That would have been a noisy one. Okay. Now... You might be wondering, non-existent viewer, um, why there are so few viewers. There's a, a lot of reasons for that. First, I haven't streamed in a long time. Second, I didn't really have viewers when I used to stream. And probably the most important, besides the brush, I think I'll use just my normal two. Um, most important reason that we don't have a lot of viewers right now is I didn't advertise in any way because I just didn't want that pressure. Since it looks like I'm actually going to paint, unlike last time, where not only did I fail the stream, I didn't end up painting my miniature at all. This time it looks like I will paint. So that's good. It makes me feel better already. So just mixing up. If I had a palette cam. There's a lot of things that I wish I could do um, with this stream. But would require investment that I am not willing to make. Just don't want to spend my hobby dollars there. But a palette cam would be one. A better streaming computer would be another. Better camera. I love a better camera with a different type of mounting system. So that would go not in my field of view at a better angle. 
Um, yeah, light set up. My lights are fine for painting, but I feel like they, for video, they are let down a little bit. All right, we're going to start with this. What we're going to do, ooh, my eyes are bugging today. And also, I'm not sure if I got the focus right, so I apologize. It's hard. I, I paint in the air. I don't paint low down on a table. So it's very common for my my miniature to kind of float around a bit. So we're going to start putting the shadows in where the shadows belong. This is definitely when I sat down to paint today. I said to myself, let's just get some paint on the model. So his head is tilted to this side a little bit. So I'm just going to add shadows all on that side. We'll pull them back. Don't worry. Not super keen on the shadow color too. It's a little bit red. That's okay. Can, uh, we can fix that too. So part of the issue is, is finding the position to paint. Uh, another issue today is I'm feeling like my eyes are not uh, not giving me good good feels. So get a little bit of brown, just desaturate, not brown, black. Just desaturate this a bit. Okay, let's do the feet. Under the feet, it's not a big deal. Yeah, unfortunately, the focal length on this freaking thing is not great. Now, I wonder. Let's play with some settings here. So, let's reduce the exposure. Okay, that's very dark, sure. Yes, I'll give you that. Let's bring up the gain. So the gain should be something like ISO. The exposure might be, I don't know if it has a fixed aperture, this camera. But if it does, reducing the exposure and increasing the gain means I'm going to swap um, aperture size uh, for um, ISO for noise. So uh, by doing a lower exposure, it should close the aperture, which should give me a larger depth of field and make things a little bit easier. Because I feel like he is... This is one of the reasons I stopped streaming way back when, is I felt that the quality of the video that I was capturing was not a quality that I myself would really watch. Um, I kind of feel like the painting skill is really secondary on a lot of streams, which is uh, it is kind of me saying that a lot of painting streams streamers don't paint very well, but also I just don't think that is the important part of the stream. Because, honestly, the quality of their video is not so high that I am really watching for their painting. You know, I'm not, I'm not watching in order to see how to paint. I am watching just to kind of be present in an environment where, where painting is a topic of conversation. So we'll go nice and heavy on this shadow. It actually is a little bit lighter than the one I mixed before, which is fine. I might have to rig out the cheaters. Just uh, My tired eyes are not, not resolving very well today. Should we get the toesies? Focus. 
focus a bit more. I got to figure out where I put the miniature when I am focusing on painting and where I put the miniature when I am focusing on focusing. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I just feel like he's not not in well focus. Okay, well, all right. Moving on. Moving right along. So that was the shadow. Now we're actually going to go straight to a highlight. Check it on my, my hand. See, that's still pretty dark. It's tricky comparing it to the shadow. It looks pretty light. Still a little dark. A little bit better. I think we'll take that. I think we'll take that. So we are going straight from the shadow to a highlight. It'll, it'll look a bit much. But the idea is we are developing our forms. We're saying this is where the shadows are. This is where the highlights are. That'll probably have to get toned down. When I started this, I felt a little tired, I must admit, and I really do feel like my eyes will not focus. This looks, oh, that's fine. This looks pretty insane. It's okay. We're going to take it back. Oof. I feel in when you're painting a How's that looking? That's still very dark. So this miniature you I mentioned earlier is a bit bigger than uh, most miniatures. It's a 38 millimeter miniature. And right now, with my eyes not behaving, it's feeling like the face is not not that scale. I don't think we want to go that dark in the brow. Because 
because I know there's more details in this face. I'm just not able to see them today. That's a bit too bright there. Be afraid to leave a little bit of shadow on my feet. Sure. Normally with miniature painting, we don't worry too much about cast shadows. We only worry about self shadows. Which is when the, the surface turns away from the light. I'm mixing just a little bit of the main highlight into my mid-tone. And we're going to use that to connect them. idea being that we want to do as much blending with opaque colors by mixing paints as we can before we start doing glazes. And then we'll do the same thing with our shadow and our mid. Yeah, shadow. Where where we put these is is important. Um, the shadow is probably a bit dark. So you can't just do a 50-50 mix. Ugh. So I think one of my issues is I have uh, leaned a little too far forward. I set up my camera 
and that is just giving me an uncomfortable painting position. And we just kind of figure out where things need to be. And say, you know, this doesn't need to be that full highlight color. Now, I'm also not washing my brush that often. I'm just kind of picking up a different color. Gives me a little bit of leeway in these blends. Okay. So we're now reaching the part where I'm having trouble. Let's do it. Let's do an extreme zoom. Uh, I, I'm reaching the, the part where I'm having trouble. Um, if I put opaque color, I'm probably going to start making my blends worth worse. So that's where we're at. Try to paint here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start using my matte medium. I have um, actually I have golden super loaded matte medium. I picked it up because I was using their high flow acrylics and I found that the high flow acrylics were super glossy. Just insane, insane gloss. And it was no bueno. There, I'm back. Okay, my headset turned off. Sorry about that. Um, and it's just a super duper glossy or super duper matte uh, medium, which I actually like for this sort of thing. So, if you're not familiar with glazing, I'm taking the various highlights and shadows that we were working with. And mixing them with a, a not insignificant amount of my matte medium. And it allows me a little bit more control because I won't change the color fully. I like to start with. A little bit of a 
stronger mix. And then I'll add a bit more medium. Just let it dry. This is the problem with uh, doing the flesh. Even on a big boy like this, it's not a lot of flesh, so it's easy to overwork a surface. But when you're blending, you really blending, you really need to let things dry, which you can do by blowing on them. And then sniffle into the camera, into the microphone like a, a jerk. And the idea is just to get rid of all the, the not so smooth bits. Somebody's in my basement with me. I don't know who it is. You can take one of the mixes that was a transition between my light and my mid-tone. Kind of use it to bridge the gap where necessary. The top of this hand here is feeling I don't know. Not digging it. So the whole point of using opaque paints for so long during this process is you can really control where your shadows and highlights go. Not so bad. Just give him a moment to rest and try to figure out what else he might need. He needs. to bring that up a little bit more. Just add a little bit more texture. transition on its head needs a little bit more work this nice and smooth notice 
but it's maybe not as good as it should be. How long are we going for? 35 minutes. This is why I feel like I need a stream. We've been going for 35 minutes. A decent chunk of that was me yapping. Some chunks of that is me waiting for it to dry. Actual painting time, pretty low. Looking not bad. So as we refine things, there's a like one of the characters in in the army. So it's okay to spend a little bit of extra time with him. So as we refine things, just we add more and more of our medium to paint and that way we're making smaller and smaller changes right we're just nudging 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 which we can do because we got that foundation of our volumes so here is a thing that a lot of people don't realize we're going to establish a specular highlight this is the sun or something and it should hopefully give A little bit of life. Yeah, we shouldn't have done it on that cheekbone. Cause that is not rounding enough. But that's okay. We go back to refining a little bit. Just hit that again. Oh, that's a little bit further away.
Okay, let's do another super close up, and I think we'll call it a night. All right. To be honest, I don't normally. Oh, there's a, a little spider has come to pay me to visit. Uh, I don't normally do that. Catch light. Boop, have some paint. Um. Oh. But it should be there, right? Because it's human skin. That's a little bit shiny, but maybe it was too much. There. Just enough so that it blends in. We'll see. We'll see how I feel, but I'm going to leave it for now. So, that's it. That's my first stream. Here you go. Try to get him in focus. Um, first stream back. I think the next one I will advertise a bit and see if we can't get some people to show up. But uh, it, it seemed to go. I'll probably review the stream and make sure it looks quality. But there you have it. This has been Coyote BD Paints Miniatures. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.